Welcome to the Talk Podcast with ideas strategist, Linda Reed Enivar. Talk is where we chat about ideas and inspiration you can use to market your business. Get ready for practical tips you can implement today with your host, Linda Reed Enivar. In today's episode of the Talk Podcast, we're deep diving into a topic that we all encounter as business owners and many of us might struggle with, and that's receiving feedback in business. We're going to unpack the who, the why, the what, and the how of this essential art of receiving feedback. Because feedback is all around us. No matter where we are within our business journey, we will get feedback that we ask for, we will get feedback that we don't ask for, and sometimes we're going to get feedback that we don't need to take on board. And it is a skill and an art as business owners that we need to learn. What feedback do we need to listen to and implement? And what feedback do we need to disregard? And what feedback maybe can be taken on at another stage in time? So let's dive into the who, the why, the what, and the how of receiving feedback as business owners. So let's start with the who. Who should be giving us feedback within business? Now, most obvious to most of us as business owners is our customers. We want to get feedback from them to see what's working for them, maybe what we need to improve, how we need to grow. But there are also other people that would be giving us feedback along the way. Now, that could be our peers, it could be our colleagues, it could be people who report true to us, and it could also be suppliers that we work with. And this gives us different perspectives, which provides us with a holistic view of our performance. So we want to make sure that we are seeking feedback from the people who are involved within our business. And each source will provide us unique insights on our business and their interactions with us. And then whether we need to improve or whether there's something we can change to make that relationship a little bit better along the way. The next component that we need to dive into when we're looking at feedback is the why. Now, feedback is essential for growth, but it's also essential for process improvement and it stops us from being a little bit complacent within our business. It also allows us to be agile and adapt and continually improve both on a professional and a personal level. From a personal level, it helps us develop our career, boost our self-awareness, and fosters continuing learning. So the why behind feedback is all about improvement. We want to improve our processes. We want to grow from there. And quite often as business owners, we get so involved in our business that we cannot see what feedback is necessary for that improvement. So it is important that we ask for that feedback. And that's the why behind all of it. Now we're delving into the what behind feedback. So when we're looking at feedback, we need to look at what type of feedback is given. Is it constructive? Is it just set out to be negative and destructive? And is it actually feedback that we need to take on? So what is a very important analysis when we're going through that feedback journey and evaluating the feedback? So constructive feedback, for example, is specific, it's actionable, it's balanced, and it's not just pointing about the flaws, it's actually recognizing about the positive of an experience. And when we ask for feedback in the right way, that's the type of feedback we're looking at. There are going to be times within business we also need to provide constructive feedback. So instead of saying things like you didn't handle that project well, constructive feedback would be, I noticed that project ran over deadline. Perhaps you could look at a better time management strategies or seek help when overwhelmed, or you could ask your people how you can help them. Because quite often we're finding in that process when the what of the feedback is, there's something our people are missing along the way that they need. And so when we're providing feedback to fellow business owners or colleagues or through processes and reviews that we're talking about, Remember to give them the feedback about what worked as well as what didn't work, because quite often there is so much around what didn't work that we forget the positives along the way. The final component of today's podcast topic is the how behind receiving feedback. How should we receive our feedback? We First, we need to actively listen. We don't want to interrupt or get defensive. I get it. The emotions are high and you can really get defensive. Understand the perspective of the person who's giving us feedback. And then after listening, this comes into the evaluation phase. We need to reflect. We need to separate ourselves from the feedback. It's not about the action. It's not about the person. We need to ask some clarity and thank the person that they gave you this feedback in response. We need to make sure that we then evaluate that feedback with our team and with our people and seeing it as a growth opportunity. And the first thing we need to do is we need to evaluate whether that feedback is coming from our target market. Because quite often as business owners, we take feedback from people who are not part of our target market and that therefore then alienates us or it makes us think that we're not good enough because we've looked at someone who's not part of our target market. And the final tip for this podcast is to bring you back to the who is giving feedback to you. Make sure the who is part of your target market. Make sure who isn't family and friends who maybe don't want to see you succeed. 
go through the process and make sure that the who you are getting feedback is important. So we go back again to suppliers, to people who are working with us, to colleagues, to peers, and we want to make sure that their feedback is given as constructive feedback rather than destructive feedback. And if it's turned out to be destructive, dismiss it from that moment in time, but always look at constructive feedback. If there's a ping that says, I know we could do better, then chances are it's constructive feedback and we just need to work on it. Until next time, happy businessing and I will see you in the next episode of Talk. Thank you for listening to another episode of Talk with Linda Reed Enivar. Make sure you subscribe via your favourite podcast app so you don't miss the next great episode. You can find more ideas and inspiration at enivagroup.com.au.